darling, is something the matter? Did they badger you about the Monado case again? Is, is that what's the trouble? Well, try not to think about it for a while. I hate to see you get all tired and worried like this. We certainly don't have to go out to dinner if you don't want to. I'll call Molly and tell her you're much too tired. Would you like me to do that? I'll make you a nice dinner right here at home. There's plenty of meat in the freezer. Just take a little longer to cook, that's all. And once it's in the oven, I'll just slip out to the corner and get some vegetables. Oh, before I forget, I have to tell you, Mrs. Keating gave me the ring test today. You know, where they have a ring on a bit of string and they dangle it over your tummy. And guess what? It's a boy. Absolutely no doubt about it, she says. She's never been wrong in her entire life. Isn't that exciting? Where are you going? To get the meat out of the freezer. Sit down. Sit down a minute. Patrick, what is all this? What's wrong, darling? Please tell me. This is going to come as a shock to you. I hope you don't blame me too much. I could never blame you for anything, darling. You know that. The truth is, Mary, I want to leave you. You understand me, don't you? I'm leaving you. You don't mean that. Yes, I do mean it. And once more, is I want a divorce. There's, there's someone else I want to marry. That's really all there is to it. I love her. She loves me. Now we have to be sensible about the whole thing. Calm. And sensible. I'll arrange for the divorce. Naturally, you can have the baby when it comes. You'll have some money, not a lot. I can't give you too much, but you'll, you'll get along all right. I'll go get you your supper. What? Yes, you must have your supper, darling. I would never let you go without your supper. You'll feel better once you've had something to eat. What are you doing? Patrick, you, you can't go. You can't. Y you just can't. No. I won't let you. I won't. Just try and stop me. Operator, I need the police. It's my husband. He's been murdered. It's the chief. Listen, I'm gonna go talk to the wife. Wait for me outside, all right? Mrs. Maloney, do you think you could
pull yourself together now and talk to me a little. Yes, I'll try. I'll, I'll do my best. Okay. Can you tell me if this is exactly the way the room was when you first came in? Yes. You didn't touch anything? Well, all except for Patrick. When I came in the front door and I saw him lying there like that, I... And... I... And you did what when you saw him? Well, I, I tried to speak with him, and I saw that he was dead, and I ran to the phone. Okay. And could you tell us, what time was it when you went out? It was about um, 20 minutes ago, I think. Okay. It's 6.14 now. So you figure 5 or 6? Yes, I think so. Are you sure? Yes. Hey, uh, detective. We brought a photographer. We got a man out front and one in the back. I want to see him. Listen, I want a real thorough job. Take your time. Take as many pictures as you can before Doc gets here and starts shoving stuff around, all right? Get going. Now, Mrs. Maloney, do you usually go out shopping so late? Excuse me, but I have to ask these questions. I understand. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't. Um, we were supposed to go out to dinner with some friends, but Patrick just seemed so terribly exhausted that I called up and canceled. Now, who did you call? Molly. Uh, Molly Vandernord. They live on South Street. Now, when your husband came in, did he seem preoccupied, lost in thoughts? Did he seem like he was worried about anything? No, N not especially, just terribly tired. Okay, now think hard, Mrs. Maloney. He comes in and what's the first thing he does? I mean, I'm, I'm only trying to ask you these questions because I'm trying to find out if there was something on his mind, if he was really worried. Now, what was the first thing he did? He kissed me. Okay, now, please, and I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. Now, you sure it was that he kissed you, you didn't kiss him? He kissed me. 